tell me a little bit about how you made the decision to set your room up the way that you did. Well, at first, we weren't sure who was going to get which side because both of us had lived on this side last semester, so we both flipped a coin and she won that <laughs> side. <laughs> I felt bad, but <laughs> fair is fair. So I took the back side and she took the front, and then it was just a matter of setting up the furniture, and I think that it just worked to create the most space for us. What's your favorite part about your room? My favorite part, I think, is all the pictures that I have. Whether it's the collages on the wall or in the picture frames, because it just makes it unique and personal. And then I would say my collages too. I made them to match my bedding specifically. <laughs> what advice would you give a new student? I'd have to say room-wise, like decorating. Um, a lot of it you can do yourself. You don't have to go out and spend tons of money. You can make things like Lex did. She made all her collages. and. Just do it how you want. It's like your own style and you make it your own space and then hopefully you end up getting along. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We got curtains over our, to hide our clothes, so yeah. that's another suggestion for kids moving in. Get mm. curtains. It kind of looks cluttered if you don't. It fits with the theme. It's like, <laughs> you two were destined to be together with the black theme. It's really funny theme. actually because she lived on the other side of the hall last semester and I lived in this room. We didn't really talk a lot but we knew each other and then when we decided to move in together, we realized that we both had everything black and white and zebra print, and then she was purple and I was pink. Yeah. So it kind of fits exactly together. And we realized we both grew up with a dream to be an interior decorator. Yeah. And it didn't work out <laughs> quite that way, but I think it kind of says something about our style.